Okay, so Coach D coached me my senior and grad year at Indiana State University where I played the shooting guard. And that was in 2021 to 22 and the 2022-23 season. Um, So what makes Coach D a good coach? Um, So first, when I first met Coach D, I was very skeptical because I knew that she was going to push the heck out of me. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to take it or not because I was sort of scared for my own sort of game and just like not knowing my potential and not knowing that someone could push me as much as she has. And um, so I was kind of scared because I didn't know how it would be about. And um, honestly, the first season, the first practice, my entire mind kind of changed. Um, I've had coaches in the past push me, but in the wrong way. Um, When Coach D pushes me, I never think, oh man, she's on my case again today. Or she doesn't like me. She's always got a problem with me. I have always felt love through her criticism um, in a type of way. And just she makes it known that she'd be like, hey, now I'm pushing you because I believe in you. And that's it. And I feel like I've always had issues in believing with myself. So just hearing that every single day at practice. um, And I just remember the words she told me after my first week of practicing under her. Um, I came from a um, from Indiana State, of course, within a team the previous year where I only averaged two points a game. So obviously that, if you look at my stats, it's like, okay, she probably can't play very good or she doesn't really have much to her game. But I remember the words after a week saying she was like, you shocked me. And that kind of stands out to me because I had such a tough year and just for someone to come in and believe in me straight away um, and just knowing someone saw my talent and believed in me but pushed me with nothing but intent, love and care um will forever make me believe in myself on the court coach d pushed my limits i didn't want to play no defense and i didn't want to dribble the ball all i wanted to do was shoot the ball shoot the three and i'm good i'll call it a day but she would yell at me because i wasn't shooting the ball after i missed and she always knew it would eventually go in so she would obviously be like shoot the ball that's your job that's why you're out there that's why you're playing you need to shoot the ball because it will go in um and I would also constantly hear her say take a charge even though she knows very well that I will not be taking no charges anytime soon um but she always had the belief in me to think that I could definitely take the charge um even if I didn't think I could because I definitely didn't think I could but she always knew that I could stop someone on defense and I did because she believed in me. <laughs> so Coach D has a type of aura about her that I like to say. And I feel like that's the best word to probably use. Um, the type of aura is to just want to go up to her when you see her and hug her every time you see her. And that's what I did. And that's what I still do to this day. Um, it's sort of like the feeling you get when you have a bad day. And you see your favorite friend. And their energy is just so positive that you really can't be in a bad mood. Um, that's sort of what she brings to me and what she brings to our team. Um, there was one specific time where we played Drake at Drake in Iowa and it was a huge game for us. We beat them on their home court, big crowd. And she went on the bus and she was just started crying and she opened up to us about her father figure that passed away and how much he meant to her. And it was that day and kind of opened up to us about, why she loves basketball, why she coaches, why she started playing basketball and just her passion for it. And in that moment, I just felt the need to hug her. And that's what I did. And honestly, I looked back at the game and um, seen that everything went right for us. Well, there wasn't honestly a time in the game where I thought, oh, we're losing. And I just felt like I felt positive the whole game. And now thinking back at it, I don't know if it was just because we just played great or if it was just because someone special was looking down on us and protecting us that game. Um, And I just feel like that would be a forever memory to me because that is when she truly opened up to us about her life. I know that meant the world to me and as well as meant the world to my teammates. Um, And just another small topic of how Coach D is off the court. So recently I had to end my basketball college career with a knee injury mid-season and Coach D would not even think twice to come up to me every single day at practice and just give me one of her big hugs or her typical handshake and just ask how my day was, how I'm feeling, um, how my rehab is going. And just not once did I feel neglected with her as a coach or with the team. 
um, because she really just made me feel a part of it. She always asked me questions and like asked if I could help out. And sometimes she'd call me Coach Nat and I'm not opposed to that. I can, I can hear that every day. And, um, and yeah, so even now out of the season, I just get so excited seeing her in the office and in the hallway because I know it will just always lift my mood. So would I play for Coach D as a head coach and why? Hands down, yes. Even though I know that I would have to play defense every single day in practice, um, I know that I would become a better player out of it. And I'm really just saying that deep in my heart because I feel like she's the type of coach that just pushes you, pushes you, but in the best way she can. She won't push you to the point where you feel like it's bringing a negative thing out of you. Like you might be, yes, you might be there dying in practice. You might be sweating. You might have tears, but it's never going to be like, oh, I'm leaving this practice and I feel like I haven't done anything. But she pushed me, but I haven't felt like I've improved. Every single time that you get pushed by her, you know that you got better. I feel like after my workouts, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I can be a point guard. She'd be like, no, back off a little bit. Maybe not just yet, but I felt like I could be a point guard. And maybe I will be in a few years. <laughs> um, So Coach D wasn't personally my position coach because I was a wing player and she focused on like the point guards um but when she did step in to be my position coach um sometimes I was like oh no coach D is gonna be my workout coach today and I just knew that I was gonna maybe want to cry because she would make me do everything I didn't like which was dribbling and play defense um but because I knew that we would go through that even for like 30 minutes or even an hour when you sit back and look at it you just know that she's pushed you to the point where you're getting better every single day and you can see that every single day um and she just knew our potential in these workouts she'd do specific stuff so sometimes I would be partnered up with maybe another wing guard that can dribble the ball more or a post player that can post up and I know I was working sometimes with the four players Um, so she'd make me post up, then do a pull up and then hit a two, then hit a three to make sure I can, you know, make these shots from inside all the way to the outside. So she'd really focus on your skill set and not just like a generic plan. It would be very personal to each individual, even if it was a group, um, workout. When coach D had the scouting report, did I feel prepared for the game? Most definitely. I think coach D has the most detailed, um, scouting report I've ever seen in my life. But not in a bad way because scouting reports can be long. It can be boring to look at. But when Coach D does her scouting reports, it's player and it has all the list of things, attributes that she can do, her weaknesses, how to defend her. And it's just like sometimes I'd go out and I'd look at my player and I'd be like, oh, I know you from just I can just read you as like a book. That's how I felt. And I feel like coach d really put her time you can tell she put hours and hours of time in these scouting reports just to make sure that everything's good even with film and she would chop up little films of individual players and their little moves and just the team offense defense and everything as a head coach what would coach d's program look like and how would uh we play in your position would we be successful and why so i'm not gonna lie we would be the toughest team ever Coach D emphasizes defense and if you don't like defense, then tough luck because she's going to make you like it. I actually enjoy playing defense now. Never thought I'd say those words ever in my life. Um, But yeah, I actually do enjoy playing defense and yeah, and I feel like not only on the court, but Coach D's program, um, if she was a head coach, would just be like a loving environment, Um, purely in the way because Coach D loves community service not to just have our team out and to brag and be like yeah we've we've done this every week for community service but she really does it out of the goodness of her heart and she wants us to realize that some people need help and some people like sometimes helping people brings so much joy in people's lives and I think just understanding that we have it good and that people don't have it as good as us and she really emphasizes about helping the community and just in little daily things even if it's just saying hello to someone and saying hi how are you when you 
walk past them in the whole way, just sort of just being nice in general as well. But overall, I think Kosti as a head coach, she would have such a great family atmosphere. She would um, be so individual with players in a way of making sure she understands how each player learns because I know not everyone learns the same way. Not everyone is a physical learner. Not everyone can just look at something, a drawing, and and figure it out themselves, but some people can. And I feel like she really takes the time out of her day to really put all her effort and energy into basketball. And her as a head coach, she would be successful because of the amount of effort she puts in and purely the amount of passion. If you don't have passion for anything, then you're not going to work towards being successful and creating a good environment. But having the passion and the love for the game in general will take you far. And I just feel like Coach D would do that. I just feel like she would be a great coach and I would if I had more years and she became a head coach I would sure (laughs) go crazy I'll come (laughs) but yeah so overall coach D is just a great coach but an even better person